So just to run you through our world class state of the art IVF laboratory. Now once I have retrieved the oocytes in the operation theatre, the fluids containing the oocytes are transferred to this laboratory here and it is under this stereozoom microscope that the embryologist would pick up the egg, find out the healthy normal eggs and put them in small culture dishes and then return them to an incubator such as this. We have almost 10 of these incubators where all conditions are maintained like the human body and it is very important that the eggs are transferred from the body to the incubator in the shortest possible time. The faster a clinic and its staff is in performing these tasks, the better are the results because the less exposure of the eggs and embryos to the atmosphere, the less is the damage to the oocytes and the embryos and the higher the pregnancy rates. Now these are the conventional incubators which were huge, almost like the size of a refrigerator and we had these one, two and three of them. But now what has come as almost a dramatic revolution in this field too is we have something as small as this. These are known as the benchtop incubators and you can see here how small and compact the incubator is in comparison to the conventional ones. The advantage is that in such a small size incubator you can have same number of patients that you would have put in the big one but you also have the ease of stacking them one on top of the other and that is how you can see we have two over here and you can see there is one, two, three and four of these incubators over here. So at a time each incubator would take about eight patients and that means we could do a total of more than 50 patients at any given time in our IVF laboratory. Of course you have a lot of ancillary equipment and you also need an air purifying system such as this one which is on the wall which has been designed by NASA from the United States of America and it ensures that the entire room has clean air free of dust, free of any pathogens, free of bacteria, free of any toxic a volatile organic compounds, alkalines and so on. Anything which could be toxic to human eggs and human embryos and affect the pregnancy rates of the clinic. So these are vital points which you have to keep into mind whenever the laboratory is designed, when equipments are selected to ensure that your pregnancy rates per day, every day, every month and every year are consistently high.